in this part I'll add some more details to the front of the car I'll do some more work on the mouth here so I'll make, make a copy of this curve Okay, it seems to be linked, so I just check unlink and scale it, scale it down si slightly to around there. Yep, try and match the line on the back there and go to accept. And always make sure this point is on the middle. So it should be 8.7.5. Yep, that's good. And also just make adjustments on the side views as well. So this point is going to be behind that line. What you can do, you can go to the points coordinate in the points here, click on the Z direction and go in, paste the Z direction for all the points. So just paste it in and press tab to apply and do that for the point as well. Yep, actually we didn't want to do that. This point should be just slightly behind. Actually it should be just around there. But that's a sometimes useful technique to edit the coordinates of the line. So there's point coordinate coordinate system, and you can ed edit, make edits there. Okay, so we want something, something like that. Nice flow on the front side, top view. And what for the next step? Add the codes. Add a curve to a pro profile curve so we can blend the surface. Press the middle mouse button to add more lines, start a new line, and accept. So I didn't put the lines right on the end, but because that's really hard to to do it. So just accept the correct line and go in edit again, so you can fix the lines up. And try your best to make the lines look natural, has a natural flow. So we can add more curvature now. So for this line it should be on surface curvature. Okay, that doesn't seem to work. Okay, that didn't work. Alright. So I think just move that point onto the surface and drag it to the corner sometimes you need to zoom in to drag it to right to the corner and 
we'll see if we can make that curvature now. Yep, yeah, alright, yeah, see, sometimes the lines are not on the surface or in a different place. We just gotta move the point around. Okay, so just do that for the other curves. And that's it, and we can start go in, make it a surface. Go to surface tool, click the rails, and click the profiles. We can do a test render, go render and see how it looks. So here's the result looks fine. Uh, there seems to be gaps between the surface but I think if you turn on render quality it will be ironed out. So but yeah the the front one starts to coming together now.